Detroit is alive. It's not perfect, but alive. Detroit's kind of rough and tumble, industrial town, and we've had our fair share of beatdowns over the last 30, 40 years. Unfortunately, a lot of our students come from uh, broken households. They deal with crime in their neighborhoods. They deal with uh, a struggling and crumbling school system. But the spirit is there. When I first arrived, the beginnings of the Renaissance that we have heard about was starting, and that hasn't slowed down. Detroit is a place for opportunity. It's a place for love. The sky is literally the limit in the city of Detroit. Right now in the city of Detroit, one out of three young people will not graduate. We believe that's because they don't drink, and it's not their fault. And unfortunately for a lot of our youth, they don't have that community of support around them telling them that they can, and so then they don't. FATE is a four-year education enrichment program where we take a group of students from their ninth grade year, and over four years, we expose them to uh, institutions of higher education, partner with businesses, and we do interactive workshops. And they're all project-based, so we really want to get the students to have hands-on experience. The notebook that we did with Shinola uh, was being printed, and so some of our students got to go up and actually see that process. They basically give us this, this big sheet that contains what fate is, and it just becomes real. Every 26 seconds, a kid in America drops out of high school. Fate provides resources and opportunities for Detroit youth to embrace education and become world-class citizens. And then they wrap around the middle of the book. The work that our students do, it's gonna actually go out into the world. It's being sold to raise more money for our scholarship fund. I feel like I'm fortunate because we get the chance that other high school students don't get. It makes me feel that my opinions are valued, that someone could take what you know we thought of or that I thought of and make it into a reality. I am an educated, world-class citizen. I am a world changer. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere in, a, in our lives, people tell us, you know, you're born into this home, in this neighborhood, with this skin, with these thoughts, and this is who you are. But wait, I'm not limited to things that people expect us to do or be and say. The arts make a difference. Performing arts causes people to be free thinkers. That, that's it, period. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. Two, three, four, five, hop. We changed this fan here, right? Changed it to the... Oh, we changed the turn. That's right. Dance really creates this relationship of trust. It's important for all kinds of youth to learn how to rely on someone else. Uh, let's start. Our Lab J is not only a dance company, but it's an organization that creates a platform for education. When I got into dance, it was at my high school. My teacher was like, Sakari, you have so much potential, and I really think you should push yourself. Then the moment just sparked up right there. Like, yes, Sakari, you can do it. I like it a lot because I get to express any emotion. Mostly joy, sometimes anger, sometimes sadness. When I was 15 years old, I was diagnosed with high-functioning autism. So I found dance as a creative expressing and releasing and sharing with the audience. It's important for the youth to have a space to express themselves, a different place to develop their skills, to develop their craft, but also connect with other kids in, outside of their own houses or their own school. It's not just an elite kind of thing. It's not just for rich kids. Dance is everywhere. Everyone should feel like they're worthy. Dance is really about community to me. I think if we have a stronger community, Detroit would grow so much. Not only Detroit, like the world, we can grow together if we just communicate.